Good morning. If I've got my Germany mug, we must be talking travel. That's right. And today we're talking about travel pillows. That's coming right up. Hi, I'm Arnie Jacobson, and here we talk travel and camera gear. If you're into that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below. Don't forget, click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Oh, and don't forget, make sure you check the show notes down below in the YouTube description so you'll, you can get further information on the products we're going to talk about today. So yes, travel pillows. Folks, airplane flights, what have you, are, in my opinion, the worst part of travel. Part of it has to do with the fact that I'm so big, I'm at, at six foot eight, just about anybody's gonna consider me well big. And um, trying to find a way to get to sleep is always a real problem for me it has to do with leg room and you know the whole thing well I've got five travel pillows here today that I'm gonna go over and uh, one of them is gonna hopefully make the cut for our next trip first off we have something called the needos now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run through and talk about the five different ones I have, and then we're going to give them a shot and see what they're like. So the Nidos is one of them. The other is something called the Comfo Array. It's by far the smallest of the ones that I've got today. Next up is something called the Sky Siesta Snug. Okay. And also J Pillow. Now this is actually packed down pretty small too, so it's kind of like the next smallest, I guess you'd say. J Pillow. And one, by the way, all of those I purchased. Now I'm not keeping them all. I might keep two of them depending on what Jody says. The other one was sent to me. This is called the Face Cradle. And no, it's not a toilet seat, although it looks like one. But they sent this to me saying that this is the best um, travel pillow kind of thing. So we'll see. Feels kind of good. Anyway, let's get into this. Now, obviously, I don't have... Uh, any way of testing this out in an airplane. So what I'm going to have to do is do this in my office chair, which is, you know, reasonably like an air, airplane seat. It's not quite as high, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But still, you'll get a, a reasonable idea of what this is like. I'll get a reasonable idea of what this is going to be like when we're flying. So let's um, start out with the Comfo Array. <clears throat> Comes in a nice little bag. As I said before, it packs down reasonably well. Has a carabiner built into it, so it's you know easy to hook on the outside of your bag. And it's pretty simple. Just this thing rolled up. And from what it says online, you're supposed to wear it with the Comfo Array at the um, front. So we'll do that. So that puts this high part on one side. That's not bad. I make that a little bit tighter. <laughs> Strangle myself <laughs> doing a YouTube video. Well, that gives nice support over here. 
where this, this bump is. Suppose I could move it a little, just a little bit more. Now nah, that doesn't feel good. That's not bad. It keeps my chin up. That's for me, as for most people, the whole thing about you know keeping your chin up so it's not falling over is, is the biggest issue. Hmm, that's not bad. Just trying to be as you know much like being in the airplane as possible here. Still fall forward a little bit, but that's not bad. It's got a nice comfy feel to it. It's kind of, I don't know exactly what, what the outer shell is. It obviously has a zipper here so you can take it off. The inside, uh, a woven type of material so that it, uh, it breathes a little bit better, I think. Velcro attachment. All in all, it feels pretty comfortable. I like the fact that it packs down really small also. Okay. Next up, let's do the J-Pillow. It's the most unique looking of the batch. Obviously comes in a nice little bag. Now this particular product got the British Innovation Award last year. Something I that it may not even be the real uh, title of it, but that's kind of what it was. So you can Supposed to go something like that. Okay. <laughs> Unless you've got a window here, I don't see this working. And maybe it's my size. Again, like I said, I'm six foot eight, but that doesn't hold my chin up at all. Could wear it like that, I suppose. But that just doesn't give me enough support. Maybe if you don't have as long a neck, it wouldn't be a problem, but boy, I guess I could try the... Okay, j Pello, not working for me. All right, so... Comfo Array, eh. J-Pillow, eh. let's take a look at the Kinidos or Nidos, depending on whether the K is silent or not, Travel Pillow. <laughs> Has instructions on how to use it. Hmm. Okay, this one, by the way, apparently rolls up too. So this Nidos, Knidos, actually folds up into a little bag also. That's kind of nice. Pouch on the front. Zipper. And that's about it. Okay, let's take a look. The instructions say hold the belt around the back of the pillow with both hands. That would be this belt right here. Lift the belt over your head. Move the end of the belt from your left to your right hand. Hold the pillow with your left hand. Pull the belt with your right hand. Lock the belt in place with the Velcro on the right side. Adjust the pillow to the perfect position for you. Well, <laughs> that seems kind of complicated. Wow. 
Well, after fiddling around with that for a while, got this in here. Well, it gives you support. Boy. I gotta say, so far, I'm not too thrilled with any of these. Maybe I'm expecting too much. Well, I'm just not thrilled. It has a zipper on it so you can remove the covering. Okay, well, Fourth one, the Sky Siesta. Has a little bag stored in, so it must pack down fairly small. Has um, eye shade, block out the light. Eh, that's okay, I guess that's something. And here we have it. Okay. So, this connecting fabric back here goes behind your head. This snaps over here. And then you can tighten it up. Well now, that's kind of promising. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this thing stick up here and cover my ears, so I guess it's <laughs> blocking out the sound at the same time. But it does support Boy, like I said, maybe I'm expecting too much. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm never going to find anything that I really, really like. <sighs> and last but not least is the face cradle. This one is interesting. Aside from looking like a toilet seat, You're supposed to be able to put this on the tray in front of you and sleep like this. Now, to be perfectly honest, there is no way that that is going to work for me ever. Because, again, six foot eight, I cannot even sometimes put the, the tray down because of my knees are stuck up so high. And then if I was to bend forward, I'm going to hit, be hitting the back of the seat in front of me. So that's not going to work. For you, being of, you know, normal <laughs> human <laughs> configuration, it might work. You know, it's supposed to be able to just go like this. Obviously not with your glasses on. Or like this. I also see that you can wear it like this, which does support you on the side. That's not bad. 
The other thing is that it has a strap. Okay, attach the strap. This part goes around the back of your seat where the, you know, if you're on a long haul flight, the um, wings come up and you can, you know, the headrest comes up and you can put it behind there. I'm just going to do it behind my seat here and see if this will work. This could be, I can see you'd have to do this ahead of time because I can't reach this. <laughs> God, this is just uh, kind of crazy. There we go. No, that's still not right. Okay, I think I might just about have it now. Okay, so the way this is supposed to work is that you raise this up in front of you and you tighten it up. Obviously, I've not done this before. This is the first time. because I, you know, I bet it looks pretty doggone r ridiculous. It just, it doesn't, God. All right, final consensus here, final summary. After going through five different ones, I'd say, have to say that the Comfo Array is the one I felt kind of gave me the the most comfortable fit. Again, keeping the comfo right to the front, fastening it on the side without a, any question of the five that I tried today. This is the one that works best for me. Keeps my head up, supports to the side. Of the, uh, yeah, I, I, I have to say that this is the one that um, feels the best, seems to give the most support. It's got a, a memory foam inside here. That's pretty comfy. Um, nice knit fabric. And the outer shell comes off. So I'd say that if you want to try any of these things, the Comfo Array would be the one that I'd recommend. The other ones, I just, I just can't see going there. Now, Last year, just about the same time, I did a, another video testing the best travel pillows of 2018. And I'll put a link right up here so you can check that out. In that video, I tried a, 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 four different ones. And I tried the Cabo. I tried the, the Turtle. Um, a couple others I can't remember now. A Be Cozy. It's the one my wife used, and um, of those, I chose the Cabo, but I liked the Turtle a lot. The only thing that kept me from t using the Turtle was that it had this fleece um, neck wrap that felt awfully warm. That's one of the things I feel about. This might be a little bit warm, too, but it felt good. Um, so the Turtle was one that I really liked of the four and they have a new one that is at uh, Kickstarter and I've tried to get a hold of them to you know to get a hold of one of those things and they haven't gotten back to me so 
Um, Turtle, if you're watching this, if you catch this video, I'd love to try yours out and uh, give it a go. So ring me up. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. Um, obviously, I wasn't thrilled with any of them. The Comfort Array kind of did the best. This is the, I'm going to I'm going to keep it and I'm going to try it and we'll see how it goes. Um, and I'll leave a comment after I've tried this on the plane. There you go. Thanks to, uh, for stopping by. If you like this kind of content, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, particularly if you've tried a pillow that you particularly like, you think would work, I'm always open for trying something out. Um, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Thanks again for stopping by. We do appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.